Hey, this is Polar B, and I thought I would uh, answer a couple of uh, my subscribers' questions. Um, Learn a New Stable asked me um, probably about six questions, and I'm not going to answer them all. However, I will answer some of them. Um, one first question was, have you ever met asexual people? Um, asexual people or asexual people um, means people that have no interest in sex. I can't say that I have. Um, I do know that some survivors um, are not interested in sex, but that is because of some of the issues that sexual abuse causes. Um, I don't think that that's quite the same thing that you're asking, but no, I have not um, met anybody. I've heard of it, but I have not met anybody. Um, one of the other questions, do lesbians ever think that men are attractive when they sing? Do lesbians have attractions towards male singers? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I actually, I think that there's quite a few good-looking uh, males. Um, I don't know that it matters if they sing or not. Um, I think that um, that there are plenty of men who are attractive. Um, I'm not sexually attracted to them. However, I do think that they're attractive. Um, I have um, some really good friends that are really, really nice-looking. They're handsome, and I like the way that they look, and... You know, they're built very nice, and they have uh, gorgeous uh, hair and skin and teeth, and, you know, I think they're really nice looking. Um, I don't, I do think that they're attractive, but I'm not sexually attracted to them. Um, I do think that there are good male singers. Um, I like quite a few. Um, Sam Harris is one that I really, really like. A lot of people probably don't know him a whole lot. I think... Uh, Sting is pretty cool. Um, there's a there's a lot of singers that I like. Um, Aerosmith, Steve Tyler, um, some of the rockers out there. Rod Stewart. I love Rod Stewart's gruffy voice, um, especially when he was a lot younger. Um, I know he's doing a lot of the oldie stuff now, but yeah, I think that there's a lot of uh, men out there that are attractive. Um, doesn't mean I ever will sleep with them though because that won't happen. <laughs> uh, what ways do you say no to people? How to form the sentence? Um, I think it really depends on what it is. Um, there are times that people ask me to do things and I um, tell them I'm not interested or um, that um, not at this time. Uh, I don't think I'll do that at this time. A lot of salespeople do that. And I'll say thank you, um, but I'm not interested at this time. Um, if somebody asks me to do something and I absolutely can't do it, and it's not that I don't want to, I might say, you know, I'd really like to help out, but I'm sorry, but I have other obligations. Um, so there's a, a, a lot of different ways to say no. If somebody is asking me personally um, something, like if a, a girl or a guy comes up to me and says, you know, um, will you um, go on a date with me? Um, you know, I'm not going to be uh, nasty or anything, but I'm going to say, you know, sorry, um, I'm already involved with somebody, uh, but thank you for asking. Um, so there are ways that you can say no without um, hurting somebody's feelings um, and still um, keeping your own self-respect. Um, Last question that I'm going to answer is, have you ever felt the need to please others and take care of their um, identity? Um, there are times that I have um, put my own feelings aside in order to take care of the other person. Um, it really depends on the situation. Um, if it's a co-worker, um, it may be something that I I might go ahead and do even though I really don't want to do it. Um, if it's if it's a family member or uh, my partner or somebody like that that um, you know I, I may like if my partner asked me to do something and I really don't want to do it but I don't want to hurt her feelings. Um, I may go ahead and say yeah we can go to dinner with uh, you know so and so or whatever. Um, 
and I may, um, you know, override some of my feelings in order to um, do something. I do think that that's a give and take situation, though. That I'm not going to do that all the time. I'm not going to um, please others all the time because I think that my own feelings um, are important too. So I think that that's a give and take uh, relationship there. Um, there are times though that I have um, done things to please others um, in order to take care of them and their feelings. Um, if it's something that's going to be detrimental to me, um, I will usually speak up. Um, and that has come over time uh, with a lot of healing and everything. So, But um, yeah, I've gotten better at actually speaking up and, and um, you know, taking care of my own feelings and wants and needs and desires. And, and I don't think that that's selfish in any way. I just think that you know, if you're pleasing everybody else all the time, and you know, you're that's going to cause a lot of resentment and that within yourself. So um, it's kind of good not to get in a habit of doing that. So anyway, hopefully that answers some of your questions. And uh, sorry I was so long in um, making the video. I'm a little tired today. So um, anyway, talk to you later. Bear hugs. Bye.